I'm an Oklahoman. I'm familiar with the cows, the grass, the wheat, and the wind. This has always been my home, a place where my family has supported me. I've always wanted to have an impact on lives in my community and beyond. To do this, I knew I'd need to broaden my perspective. And honestly, I never thought I'd study abroad before OU in Puebla. I was pretty deep into my coursework. I'd never been out of the US. In fact, I'd lived within two hours of OU my whole life. But my study abroad experience was a time of growth when I made connections to expand my support system and my family. Abroad, somehow you plug in and make family wherever you go. One of the ways we humans create, celebrate, and connect is through food. In Mexican Socolos, families stroll the lush ground savoring food and downtime together. Rain or sun, these city centers are warm with an air of community. Community markets and cellars provide fresh local meat, produce, and other foods to fuel the people. The people of Mexico create dishes reinforcing the shared human values of identity, appreciation, and connection. As you make connections with others abroad, you connect to what's most important to you. And as you get to know the people and places, there are things about them that you can identify with or learn from. I identify with Mexico's concern with family, and I've learned how to make family from friends and friends from strangers. Be open and refrain from passing judgment. After I passed through the figurative portal between the US and Mexico into what was for me another world, I experienced the complexities of diversity that could only be developed through this new level of exposure. Although I struggled with maintaining my relationships with loved ones back home and allowing myself to truly relocate, I see things about myself now that I would have never discovered in the midst of everything I'd always known. I now realize that I was never truly isolated. I found people every place I went, eager to share a tip, a laugh, a story, or an experience appreciating the diversity of someone new. The people of Mexico are warm and share their culture openly and honestly. I could never completely understand the complexities of Mexico, but like the complexities of myself, I've developed this knowledge over time. There, I stood out a little more than I have at OU. I arrived in Puebla aware that I'd have differences with others, but now I am more aware of what binds humanity. Connection is a human need that transcends borders. I enjoyed interacting with people native to Mexico and international students and tourists the world over, learning about their passions and how they express different parts of their identities. This insight has helped me to shape my own identity. Before studying abroad, I'd always had someone I'd known forever nearby to relate to, and I built a lot of my identity around being useful to other people. I needed to revamp my mindset to become the best me possible, a me that could present my unique perspective effectively to make the most impact. But often, my mind wandered to worry about my loved ones or the uncertainty of the future, or disappointing people, or my common fear of wasting this precious time. I fought to balance taking it all in and feeling like I had to stay on as I scrambled to capture every fleeting detail. But in Mexico, I sensed a pride among the people, and this pride became imparted in me as I wandered through the streets lined with crowded, authentic taquerias and children scampering towards the churro lines. Because I had been welcomed here and entrusted to tell of this world, every crowd felt like a tight-knit community, and our value of family was evident. I relate to Mexico's zeal for celebrating life, namely sharing food with the people who make all the work worthwhile. I knew it'd be worth it to cut the cord, though I tried to hot glue it back together at times. And now, I'm eager to travel as I become a more effective communicator. As I left my loved ones behind, I became a part of a new family. We each had a different lens, but we all saw the value in making the journey and embracing such an adventure together as the first group to spend a whole semester in our program. We encouraged. We empathized. We egged each other on. We evolved.
seriously study abroad. Bite the berry. Sure, you might feel sick for days, but there will be nourishing, sweet moments. I promise.